Hey everyone, I am Guy from Commodore. If you are watching this, you probably want to learn more about Commodore, see it in action, and find out how it can help you with your day to day. This is exactly what we are going to do in this video. So, what is Commodore anyway? Commodore is a unified platform for managing and troubleshooting Kubernetes clusters. It's used by developers, DevOps, and SREs all around the world to simplify Kubernetes operations and reduce the pain that comes with it. How does Commodore do that? Let me show you. This is the main Explore Services screen in Commodore. Right after installing the Commodore agent, all of your services, deployment, and daemon set will be loaded into that screen. You can get their health status, and also you can integrate multiple agents for multiple clusters to create this multi-cluster view within a single point of glass and move between regions, clusters, even for on-prem clusters in a single click. You can filter by name, cluster, namespace, but also by your own labels like teams or specific context. Let's say I am one of the developers or the DevOps on the team, and I want to find out why this events puller service is not healthy. So I click on it to drill down. When we click on the tile, we will move into the deployment of service screen. When we got all the information and the zoom in about this specific deployment. As a developer, I can see easily that it's unhealthy and none of the replica is ready. At the middle of the screen, we got this timeline view that lets us understand what is the history of this service. Let's zoom in and figure out what happens there. On the right side, we got the unhealthy event. It means Commodore detect that something was wrong with your services. On the left side, we got the deploy event, which means Commodore detected someone changed uh, this deployment configuration and forced it to roll out a new version of this deployment. I want to understand why this problem started. So I may start with click on the unhealthy event or the availability issue event. Anytime Commodore detects that something is unhealthy with your application, it triggers an automated playbook that triggers and find what is the reason, the explanation, and snapshot information like logs, events, and status of the pods to give you all the information needed for you. But it not only dumps you the information and lets you like figure out how to connect the missing pieces, the reason explanation will be dedicated for that specific reason, but also we suggest action that you can take. It lets you understand what is the next steps should be without understanding the full issue, all the Kubernetes resources, and now they are related to one another. You can take actions directly from the platform. It means that if I am as a developer wants to roll back, I can click on the rollback action and force this deployment to roll back to the previous version. But before I do that, I want to understand what happens to the deployment. So I would click on the deployment event uh, and get all the information about what happens before this service started to be unhealthy. So I can see the rollout time. I can understand in the level of the Kubernetes resource what changed. Like what is the difference between the previous configuration to the current one? It also let me understand if other resource changes like config maps, GitHub, or even my source control. So it gives a lot of context of what happens in that change specifically for me to decide what is the next remediation step in order to make the service back to healthy state. I understand that like guide is me change something within the code so i want to roll it back so i can pick one of the actions i can pick edit to pick the right image i can click on the rollback and choose the specific version that i want to roll it back to anytime a user will take action from commodore it will be audited 
So you will have a full audit logs of all the action the user did in the system. All the actions are controlled by rollback assistance control. It means that you can give granular control to what actions each user can take. For example, from production, I can allow only to read, but maybe for low environment like staging, I want user to actually modify their resources. It fully controlled by the administrator of the system. So after I decide to take rollback, I may want to zoom in to what happens specifically in the time of the deploy, but from a single point of view of pod. So I can go to the related resources and add multiple related resources to this timeline. It can be pods, config maps, but I will decide to pick one of the pods and add it in here. What is nice about this view is that you can also add to the timeline information from deleted pods, pods that are already deleted from the Kubernetes API. For example, pods that run on a node that already scaled down, or maybe pod from a previous deployment that already gone. It lets you get a full historic view of your cluster from the deployment level to the pods level and also for the nodes level. When we click on this pods view, all the information about what happens to this pod, what happens to the node at the time is visible in no time. And it kind of build me the full picture of those specific service. And now I want to take the rollout. So I would click and I will roll back to the previous version. I will not do that in this example, um, but let me scale and show you how it looks when I do a change and how the audit looks like in Commodore. So I pick the scale, I go to the last 30 minutes and the audit is fully visible for me, like who did the action, on what resource, and what is the cube cattle command made through it. You may want to monitor and take a look on your live resources within the cluster. For that, we got the pods and logs live view. It kind of break down all the resources related to this deployment, and you can see what is the live status for, of them from the replica set to the specific pods and to get all the information like the describe events and the logs. The logs view can let you also to copy the logs and to download it to your own workstation if you want to take a look on another editor. In Commodore, you can get the live view of all the resources within the cluster, not only the pods and deployments. So you can see the live status of nodes, uh, pods, uh, ingress configuration, everything invisible, and also to take actions against those resources. So after we find out what is the root cause for that issue, we understand that we want to use the rollback and we took the action to solve it. Uh, I want to show you a little bit what you can get out of the event screen. The event screen gives you like a more broader view about uh, the cluster. It actually collate all the events from all of your resources, from all of the clusters into a single dashboard. And here I can get very quickly all the events went through my cluster in the last seven days. I want maybe to ask yourself about trends in my clusters. For example, how many nodes failure did I add during this time? I can filter to node issues. And I can see all the node issue within all of my clusters. And when I click on each one of the node issue, I get the full reasons and explanations about those. You can get a lot of changes from that screen. And sometimes the changes related to most critical resources within the cluster. For example, ingress, which can be a single point of failure within your resources. So I want to understand what happens to a specific ingress configuration and all the changes to all the resources within your clusters will be visible from this events view.
When we click on it, we have the changes of the ingress controller and we can compare those and understand what happens to this ingress configuration easily. This pretty much covers the basic capabilities of Commodore. If you want to explore other use cases and get a complete in-depth look into the platform, you can sign up for one of our bi-weekly demo sessions and see more of Commodore in action. Thanks for watching and I will see you around.